Welcome to the end of an era. At Team24, Atlassian announced that they were going to combine Jira work management and Jira software, and they were introducing this whole new revolutionary product called Jira. And a lot of you are very, very excited about that. I'm very, very excited as well. But today we're going to be taking a look, a deeper look at what this actually means for you from a migration perspective, what you can do to prepare, and what are the impacts, the good, the bad, and the ugly of this transition. This video is sponsored by NASA, not another stand-up app. The Atlassian Marketplace app that transforms your stand-ups into quick, focused sessions and boosts your team's productivity with ease. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out the links down in the description down below, as you definitely want to check out today's channel sponsor, the merch store, and the many different ways that you can help support this channel, including how I can help you with your Jira problems. All right, let's jump into it. Atlassian is now merging Jira software with Jira work management, and they're introducing this. They're calling it the next era of Jira. And this is a very interesting thing for me because Jira software has always been the tool that we use for agile based teams. So if you want to use Scrum, if you want to have a backlog, your sprints, your story points, all that good stuff, you use Jira software. But if you didn't care for that, but you still wanted to use Jira, well, guess what? There was a Jira just for you and it was called Jira Work Management. But as of Team 24, as of basically May 1st, 2024, Atlassian is gonna be blurring those lines and they're just going to be supporting, I guess what they're gonna call teamwork? Because I'm not really sure what the big play here is. And if you're an Agile fan like I am, I'm very scared, I'm very worried because what the new Jira is gonna allow you to do, it's going to allow you to essentially do whatever you want which is not always necessarily a good thing. I love that Jira, specifically Jira software, fell under the jurisdiction of the structure of Agile. And so we had a rule. We had a government that allowed us to be creative within the bounds of this walled garden that was created, but there was still some structure, some method to the madness. Versus now, in this new era of Jira, it's gonna be anything goes, which is good, if you are a company that doesn't care about Agile, but you're like, hey, I want to use Jira, but I want to customize it to whatever I want. So it's going to be great for growth. It's going to be great for team, the hashtag team ticker on Wall Street, right? It's going to be great for that perspective from that growth. But I think it's going to be hurting the true core fans of why Jira became so popular to begin with. Now, in the rest of this video, we're going to be taking a look at Dave Meyer's post about the new era of Jira. In my opinion, the new era is really the end of an era. All right, so we're combining Jira software with Jira work management to create a tool for all teams called, well, Jira, right? And so it's basically going to be Jira is now for all teams. One Jira, one invoice, and a billion ways to use it. And this, my friends, is really where I get the most scared, right? Because again, a billion ways to use it means we lose that structure, that rigidity of that agile ecosystem, right? And and you can make the argument that like agile's dead. We'll talk about that in a future video. But what happens when anything goes? Like I've been in environments with rules and I've been in environments with no rules. And trust me when I tell you, when there are no rules, chaos is closely right behind. And so I'm very... I don't want to say the word scared, but I am very concerned that as we now enable Jira to do a billion different things, we're going to need new skills to help coach and guide people. Otherwise, people are just going to wander with Jira. And it makes me beg the question of how effective will Jira be when it can do anything, right? It reminds me of Apple iTunes, where iTunes had their very, very humble beginnings of being able to download a song for 99 cents and being able to integrate your that 99 cents song with your Apple owned iPod, right? It was just a very simple use case. And then they brought in podcasts and then they brought in videos and music videos and then movies and TV shows. And then pretty soon iTunes was so bloated. It could do so much 
that Apple had no choice but to start cutting it up into pieces. And we ended up with the podcast app and Apple Music and so on and so forth, right? And so I wonder and I worry, is this the fate that Jira's on, right? Will this new merger of these tools create this? Well, I don't know. Only time will tell. I do use Jira all day long and I am worried, right? I'm, I'm not... I'm not overly excited. The other thing that I'm not overly excited about is Jira Work Management was a very affordable product. Granted, maybe it was a small user base of individuals that were actually using Jira Work Management without Jira software, but still Jira basically became very expensive now, right? Because if you were relying, if you were a team that was using that, that $5 or $10 version of Jira Work Management, well, all of a sudden, now you're playing in the eight to sixteen dollar ballpark, right? So you have increased your prices quite a bit. Now, granted, you're going to get a lot more capability, and Atlassian's doing a pretty good job at aligning the capabilities of Jira Work Management and Jira Software, but at what cost, right? And so it's an interesting dilemma. I think that again, we're it's, I'm speculating at this point, but it's something that's going to be rolling out over the next few months. So I'm very very excited for that. So as we continue going down this post, one thing I'm very, very excited about, and you can kind of start seeing it here, is that Atlassian is updating the UI. Now for this, I'm excited. I'm getting Jira Cloud 2020 vibes from it, although not as ugly. I think Jira 2020 Cloud was hideous, right? But I'm liking this interface. I like that Atlassian is obviously putting a lot of chips into AI. They're putting a lot of chips into searching for things in Jira and, and leveraging the power of AI and the power of robo. And so they're making search be front and center. The first thing that you do along with obviously creating things, but it, they basically are taking everything that was on that top navigation bar, sticking it sideways. And the interesting that they're doing is they're taking everything that used to be over here and they're not putting it in the navigation bar. Oh no. They are putting it within these like modals, I guess the, these sub windows and now they're horizontal on the sub window. So you can see here when we go to goals, these traditionally would have been on the left. And as we keep scrolling down, we'll see kind of like an example of Jura, right? We'll just keep going down here. And you can see here, there's a great example, right? We have now your timeline used to be on the side, your backlog used to be on your side, but now it's going to be just again, horizontal. So all the things that you were used to, they start looking a little bit more like your Jira work management templates. And so again, it's an interesting mix of how Atlassian is taking the simpleness, I guess, of Jira work management and putting all the capabilities of Jira software in it all into one. So very interesting phenomenon. I'm very, very excited though. I, I do want to say, I know this video sounds a little somber. It sounds a little, I'm very hesitant, very worried, but at the same time, I'm excited, right? Change is good. Um, I wouldn't be here without the Elastin ecosystem and Elastin ecosystem. I have a boss that has told me in the past, the only constant is change, right? And so change is a good thing. Change is not necessarily a bad thing. I am worried, right? It, it's like any cautious person. I'd be very, very worried about major changes, especially to a flagship product like Jura, right? And especially such a redesign, right? This is, this is not just like a, oh, we're adding another button. This is like a, you're overhauling the capabilities, really the, the core of Jura, right? Even though, it still looks very simple, but basically when Anu stood on stage and said, hey, you don't have to have epics if you don't need them. Well, that to me was like, well, then what happens to Agile? Is, it did Atlassian effectively kill Agile, right? So we don't know yet, right? It's again, not. I don't have my hands on it. I am excited to get my hands on it, though. I definitely want to try it out. I want to prove out these conspiracy theories that I may have, right? I want to see what it does, what it can do, what it won't be able to do. And I want to justify, is my worry worth it, right? Like, is it actually going to be something I should be worried about? Now, before we end this video, I do want to show you one more thing. As you keep going down this list, I'm going to link this article in the description. So make sure you check it out, right? But as I keep going down, they do have a Q&A section down over here under learn more. And so this section here, we let me know in the comment section if you're interested. Otherwise, just go to this article. I'll link this one as well, right? But there's basically like... Hey, now that we are unifying, right? Like what happens? What does this mean for our Jira work management subscriptions? What does this mean for licensing? What does this mean for our projects, right? What does this mean for a lot of stuff? And so if you want to look through this, it's going to be here. But if you want specific videos, again, that comment section, let me know. I'd be more than happy to look through these in more detail but I will link those down below so you can check them out. That's it for this video. Again, let me know also in the comment section, what are your thoughts? Are you excited? Are you worried? What camp are you in? Because you really, you're going to either drink the Atlassian Kool-Aid and be 
super excited that we'd have this all new revolutionary product, a new era of Jira, or are you on the camp of like, this is the end of an era of Jira? So let me know, let me know in that comment section. I'm very, very interested to find out what you think. And um, thank you very much for your support. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Most importantly, check out those links in the description as I have links to those channel sponsors, the merch store, and of course, paid courses, free courses, and all the different ways that you can help support the channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. A special thanks to Resolution, and they're not another stand-up app for sponsoring this video. Make sure your stand-ups are quick and efficient with this Jira must-have app.